our modern world complete with its towering skyscrapers, efficient industry, and fast transport is highly dependent on oil. This oil comes from the rocks deep beneath our feet, made of ancient organic matter. The thing is, this oil won't last forever. And what's worse, we can't even get most of it out. This is where specialized methods, collectively called enhanced oil recovery, come in, using science and technology to get their additional oil recovery from the ancient deposits. However, there's a catch. These methods can be very costly and may not always work. Thus, it is up to engineers and scientists to come up with new, cheaper, cost-effective technologies to get the most out of nature. One such method is low salinity water injection. This method involves pumping water into the oil containing beds at a much lower salt concentration than what is initially present within the rock. Before low salinity injection can work though, a few other conditions must be met. Clay must be present in the reservoir and the type of clay has a massive effect on the oil recovery. Calcium and magnesium ions must be present in the reservoir. And lastly, the injective water must have a salinity between 1000 and 2000 parts per million. Also, the oil in the reservoir must be of a polar nature. Now to the big question, how does it all work? Well, in the reservoir, clay acts like a cation exchanger with a very large surface area. At equilibrium, acidic and basic components are absorbed onto the clay surface along with calcium ions from the formation water. The pH at this point is usually lower than 5 due to the dissolved H2S and CO2. Low salinity water, when injected, disturbs this equilibrium, causing a desorption of calcium ions, their place being taken by protons from the adjacent water. This creates a local increase in pH which causes acid-base reactions between the adsorbed oil components, thus causing its desorption. The current research conducted during this FYP has verified a few crucial conditions observed in the field, such as the effect of pH and type of clay on the oil recovery, as well as verifying the importance of polar oil in the petroleum system. With this verification, it makes screening candidate fields for low salinity water injection a more precise process, ensuring an energy secure and bright future for our planet.